hello everyone so today i'm going to be making dressing and this is the chicken that's going to go in my dressing but i need to go ahead and bake this chicken first not only am i going to bake this chicken i'm also going to use a broth from this chicken to go ahead and create my dressing first i'm going to transfer this chicken into this pan that i'm going to put into the oven once i transfer the chicken then i'm going to go ahead and season my chicken and I'll place it in the oven. So y'all can go ahead and watch me season my chicken. And the seasonings that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna let you know as soon as I put them on my chicken. So let me just start by moving over this chicken breast. Chicken breast is pretty big. So I have chicken breast and drumsticks. So unfortunately, my other chicken breast didn't make the cut. Just came back from washing my hands. So first I'm gonna season the chicken with paprika. This is poultry seasoning. I'm using garlic powder. And I love garlic powder. It smells so good. I'm using black pepper. Don't want it too spicy. <clears throat> I'm using accent. And one more seasoning that I'm going to use is oregano. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this chicken breast in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. You want to cover your chicken so you can get all the broth that you can get from this chicken so you can use for your dressing. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and I've taken my chicken out of the oven. So now I'm just going to pour off the broth that's from this chicken into this bowl so I can save it for later when I start to make my dressing. So let me uncover it. You see it's a lot of broth in here and it smells real good. So now I'm just gonna pour it into the bowl. So it's a lot of liquid that came from the chicken. Okay, so now I'm gonna saute my vegetables. I'm gonna add in some butter. And then I'm gonna add in my onions.
I'm also going to add in my celery. You want to cook your celery and your onions until they get soft. Okay, so now I'm ready to prepare my dressing. Well, no, 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 no. Now I'm gonna put in my Jiffy cornbread and I'm using the vegetarian Jiffy cornbread. Next, I'm going to start adding in my seasoning. I'm going to start by adding black pepper. I'm going to add my accent. I'm gonna add my garlic powder. My poultry seasoning. Now I'm going to add my sage. I'm going to add in my chicken broth. <clears throat> I'm going to add some milk. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil. Add in two eggs.
Okay, so now that everything is combined well, I'm going to put this mixture in my cast iron skillet and then I'm gonna place it in the oven on 350 degrees. Leave it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Hey everyone, I'm back and now I'm breaking up my cornbread. I just got out the oven, it's kinda hot. It's very hot. So I'm breaking up my cornbread. So now, now I'm gonna add my my sauteed vegetables. Just gonna add all my sauteed vegetables. Now I'm going to add some more seasoning. Now I'm going to add in my melted butter. Now I'm going to add in my chicken broth from earlier. Add a little milk. And also, I'm going to add this stove top dressing. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. But I have some more chicken broth. I'm gonna combine this. You don't want these chunks in your dressing. So you want to break. Okay. Okay. It's still a little thick. So I'm going to add some more chicken broth. This fork is still not working for me. So, so now I can start adding in my my chicken. This is the ch the chicken that I baked to go inside the dressing. I've already shredded the chicken.
Okay, so now I'm gonna transfer this dressing into this pan. Okay, well we have it in the pan. It looks delicious. Alright, so I'm gonna pop. Okay, so I'm going to put the dressing in the oven. You're gonna your oven at 350, 350 degrees. I'm gonna leave this dressing in there for about 35 minutes and I'll check it for you after. Alright, so now we're complete and here's the dressing. So I'll now finish with the homemade dressing and here's the end result. It looks delicious. It smells good too. Alright y'all. Thanks for cooking with the Fireside Creator. Please like, comment, and subscribe.